Son, we won't be too long. Yeah, and if your grandmother had wheels, she'd be a wagon. Saunders will eat you up. Yeah. Come on, Willie. <laughs> Any change in the code? I never heard of that. SOI is the same as this morning, Target. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Sure, you have. I've been to a little bit. Uh, uh, which one is Saunders? Uh, oh, he's a good-looking fellow over there. Oh, thanks. Willie. Uh, Sergeant Saunders? Hi, my name is Murphy. Replacements? Uh, yeah. When for it? Uh, Doc Murphy. Kind of rings a familiar bell, doesn't it? Uh, I figure maybe some of you guys might read the sport pages back home. And this here happens to be Willie. <laughs> Lift the helmet so they can see the face. Well, he cleaved the next welterweight champion of the world. Kid's fighter, huh? <laughs> Say, uh, Sergeant, I don't have to explain to you that there's been a, a real serious misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Yeah, well, the idea of assigning someone with Willie's talent to a, a heel-and-toe outfit like the infantry is kind of preposterous. But we're expecting an order from Colonel Taggart. We're being sent back to Division Special Service, where we belong. Well, as soon as your transfer comes through, I'm sure I'll know where to find you. Uh, look, we got a demolition job. It's a couple of miles from here. Let's go. Uh, look, Sergeant, maybe you don't hear so good. I was talking about Colonel Moose Taggart, a West Point boy, 147 pounds, the night he fought in the Olympic Games. I know because I was in his corner when he took home that gold medal. I don't care if he spent all night in his lap. Our orders to move out as soon as the replacements arrive. Look, I'm, I'm warning you. It's, uh, it's your skin, Sergeant. Now, take it easy, will you? Just yeah, huh? let me handle this, Willie. Now, look. All I'm suggesting is you get on the radio and just put a call through to the proper channels. All you're suggesting is this war should be tailor-made for your convenience. Move out. Well, I think we better forget about it. You this. think? You let me do the thinking for us like I always do. Who does he think he is? Listen, before I'm through, I'll have that tin sergeant eating the stripes right off his sleeve. Are you all right? 
Sure, I'm all right, Mert. Why not? <laughs> why not? You're not supposed to be here. That's why not. <laughs> the next welterweight champion of the world. Ain't no stumble bum who's got nothing better to do than walk his feet flat. <laughs> oh, Mert. Hey, soldier. Now that we're sandbagged into this thing, what happens next? Uh, all depends. Depends on what? Well, uh, a mission like this is a, a lot like a Lonely Hearts picnic. A lot depends on the kind of people you meet and whether or not you've been properly introduced. <laughs> Very funny. Did you ever try squeezing the custard out of your head? Hey, General. Uh, what's with this uh, demolition giants? What are we supposed to demolish? Nothing much, just a small ammo dump somebody spotted up ahead. Ammo dump? You mean ammunition? Yeah. Well, what are we going to blow it with? Hot air. we got plenty of that. TNT. What do you think we're carrying? with Willie Cleave. I've read about him a million times in the papers. Big deal. You believe everything you read in the paper? Hey, where are you from, little John? Nebraska. What difference does it make? Everything. You gotta see a fighter in action to really know what it's like. Well, have you ever seen him fight? Willie Cleave? <laughs> Depends on what you mean by fight. I paid 11 beans to go to the garden and see him against Rocky Fialco. No fight, it was a track meet. Willie Cleve's the only guy I've ever seen who goes back with faster than a two-way trolley car. Ferguson, how would you like a rap in the mouth? Hey, Sarge, he's picking on me. All right, knock it off. Pick that up. Now, there isn't one of you clowns here that would know a, a first-class fighter from a Cupid doll. Pound for pound. My boy, Willie Cleave here, is the greatest little boxer in the fight racket today. 47 consecutive bouts without a loss. Hey, <laughs> you creep. He's got more moves than a belly dancer. And he's got a left hand that's got its own set of brains. Saunders, there's gonna be a stink about this in special service like you never heard before. <laughs> Here's your two ways through these woods. We'll have to check them both out. Cleave, Kirby, around me. We'll head out this way. Cage, you take the others that way. Hey, over my dead body. Hey, Murph, take it easy. Listen, whenever Willie goes, I go. He goes or I tell him, and so do you. Nice country, Sergeant. Reminds me a little of northern New Jersey. You know, road work. Sergeant, don't get Murphy wrong. It's, uh, that's just his way. We've been together five years now, ever since my first three-rounder in the Golden Gloves. He's really a nice guy. He just uh, worries about me, thinks he has to take care of me. What do you think? Well, I know in the fight game, a fighter always listens to his manager. Of course, out here, I know it's different. That's right, out here it's different. You know, Murphy doesn't even have to be in the Army at all. When I was drafted, he joined right up, a buddy enlistment, just because he worries about me. He never thought we'd wind up out here, though. You come from a big family? No, no family, just Murphy and me. By the way, I saw you fight Rocky Fialco that night in the garden. You handle him like you owned him. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks very much. You know, he pulled it. place I told Cage we'd need him. Give me that radio. Be 
Hey, take a look around from the top of that hill, huh? Yeah, sure. He seems like a nice enough guy, don't he? Wonder how you ever got hooked up with an eight ball like that Murphy. How did I ever get hooked up with an eight ball like you? Figures. Checkman King 2, this is why we're over. King 2, this is why we're over. And nothing happening, huh? Uh, how far is it that ammo up anyway? It's supposed to be less than a mile. Less than a mile from here. There's about 20 of them. I, I couldn't shoot. Kirby, check it out. You all right? Yeah, if I don't get sick. Just take it easy now. Sorry. I never killed anyone before. About 20 crowds headed up that way. I didn't think they were supposed to be around here. Yeah, well, we better tell them that. Hey, <laughs> how about that guy, Sarge? Ask me anything you want about sports. Don't ask me about baseball, wise guy. Bet your buck and aim in the Brooklyn and Cleveland starting lineups in the 1920 World Series. I'll give you 20 bucks right now, Ferguson, if you just stuff your mouth with grass. Little John, boy. Hey, Willie. Willie, you all right? I'm all right, Murph. Well, kid, what happened? What happened is your boy saved our skins. You can chalk up a crop for him. Hey, Willie could have been killed. What are you trying to do, Saunders? What about you? 
And you, you guys want to kill Germans? Go do it yourselves. Uh, look, just take it easy, Murphy. Take it easy? That could have been Willie laying out there. Well, it's not so. Why don't you shut up? White Root, this is Checkmate King 2, over. This is White Root, over. What is your position, over? Hey, ask him about us. Our special orders, Willie and me. We're about 2,000 yards south of objective. Enemy patrol spotted nearby, over. Your mission's been changed. Repeat, your mission changed. You are to destroy assigned secondary objective. Acknowledge. This is why, Rook. Mission change, destroy secondary objective. Ask him. Ask him about William Me. Ask him. Wait one. Back off. You have any information on my previous request? Over. Roger, you will lose your two dots upon your return to my location. Over. Roger, out. Our mission's been changed. We're gonna blow a bridge, not the ammo dump. It's near a factory a couple of miles from here. Well, hold the phone. What about our special orders? We report the special service as soon as our mission's accomplished and we get back. When we get back? You mean if we get back? <laughs> well, even now, pal. Just you wait a minute. You're coming to this, Murphy. You and your boy. Till we get to that bridge, blow it and get back. You got it? I'll move out! What are they doing? Uh, just a little old-fashioned follow leader, that's all. Murph, we gotta flush out the place before we can cross. There's a half mile of open field coming up. <laughs> Don't worry, Murphy. We've done it lots of times before. So far, it looks pretty good. Could be Krauts? Yeah, it could be. Well, well, how do you know when, when there's German soldiers around? Usually they wear different kind of uniforms. Tell it best though when they start shooting at you. Why don't you go soak your head? Could be shooting, you know. You know, bombs, shells, the whole works, who knows what. So I want you to be careful, you know what I mean? Just stay low and stay out of it. Willie. <laughs> Willie, you're not listening. I'm listening to you, man. Kid, you gotta believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Listen, a bullet in the leg and you've had it. Look, you, you ripped a muscle, a little nick at a tendon, and kid, you're through. That's it, so stay low, will you? And stay back. Oh, 
Come on, let's go. E easy, easy. <laughs> Not so bad. Hey, little John. You know, they got statistics to prove that the average price fighter dies broke. Oh, come on. No kidding. With funny little noises in his head that nobody else hears. Hey, I'm not kidding you. Ask the authority. He'll tell you. <laughs> How about that, Murph? I'll tell you, I, I wouldn't know about that, Ferguson. You see, I don't handle that kind of a meatball. I strictly go first class. You know, deluxe. My fighters are all top draw. Of course, you'd get nosebleeds at that height. Yeah, we're going to be champion of the world. We are going to pack Madison Square Garden like, <laughs> like they was giving away a gorgeous blonde with each and every ticket. And make a million bucks, huh? <laughs> At least. Even though it kills your boy? Big-hearted manager. They can't hurt us. We'll pack the garden. We'll be champion of the world. And let me ask you a question, Murph. When Willie gets hit, do you bleed? You know something, Ferguson? You've been reading too many comic books. Ah, oh, come on, Murph. You're nothing but a leech. Who you been kidding? You will is first, last, and always a mail ticket. Ferguson, don't make any more remarks like that. Not unless you're ready to run backwards a lot faster than you ever saw a den of Madison Square Garden, you hear me? It's clear we got about a half a mile to go. Hey, Saunders. Hey, hey, one question, Sergeant. Uh, and I ain't too shy to ask it. This bridge was supposed to blow up. Any, uh, any Germans around? What do you think? lassen.
spot. We're on the next turn. Well, Paige, take a look at his leg. for every little thing. Is the way we're going. Check my gate. Sorry. You might as well save your breath. Maxwell. Would have been nice to get a little artillery in here. Yeah, it would have been delightful. Well, what are you going to do now, big man? You run out of ideas? Well, I got one. The back door. Let's get out. Forget it. You wouldn't get 50 yards. Well, we can try. Oh, we can. We'll send it to blow a bridge, remember? You get back there when they'll stop firing. Go on! You two, get over there. Let me room, Chad. Grab yourself a box seat. Been 
looking pretty good. Got any ideas? There's a 50-caliber machine gun on that half-track over there. Uh, what about the ruts between a half-track and their position? So we move it out. Draw right into their laps. And if it drives, it doesn't look healthy to me. Look at the hole right in front of it. Well, it just got bounced up a little bit. It's the only chance we got, Cage. That makes it a good one. Just keep coming. Look out. He's up there. On that water tower, a sniper. Keep your head down. Ah, Murphy. Bad advice. You can't win this kind of a fight by ducking. Look, this is the way you do it. See, chap? That's the way it's done. Hey, Sarge! I'll go to that fallen tree! Wait! Wait till I get closer! Looks like they've had enough for a while. Hey, Kirby. Yeah? Bet your buck and name you every Kentucky Derby winner since Aristides in 1875. Again with who? Aristides! It's a horse or a junkie. Ha <laughs> ha. What's the matter, champ? Too much action for you? Don't listen to the big mouth. You do like I tell you. Yeah. You do just what Murphy says, champ. He ain't scared at all. You okay, kid? Yeah, I'm all right, man. Hey, Willie. Where'd Willie go? What happened to Willie? How do we know, Murphy? You should have kept holding his hand. Sarge, it's at least a hundred yards to that half track, and the only cover we've got is the flat car. I can make it. You head in the other direction, you go for the truck. Two targets. I hope the half track starts. Yeah, let's hope so. Come on, get down. You too. Willie, what were you doing up there? Saunders is going to make a run for that half-track. You'll get killed. What's that got to do with us? Forget it. Everything moves at once. Kid, you're not going to make a run for it. The rest of you give us cover fire. You got it?
Sarge got hit. He's out of it. What do we do now? I'll go. I'll go for the half track. Little John, I can go lower to the ground and faster than you can. Hey. Listen to me, Willie. Don't talk like that. Don't even think like that. For everyone's skin, Merton. I'm doing roadwork. Shut up, will you, Willie? Shut up. Now, you can't do this to me, little John. He's my boy. Clay ducks, you can get at Coney Island. Why don't you go stick your own neck out? Stay out of this, Murph. Now, listen to me, kid. Listen to me. You're young. You've got your whole life ahead of you. A million bucks waiting when this mess is over. Now, just listen to me. No, I don't listen to you. We're not in Stillman's gym now. Here I do what I think I should do. Willie! Willie! Saunders. He's an old pro. He knows all the tricks. And they got him. One, two, three. I'm not going to let you go. I tell you, Willie, it's not our racket. Go on me. I got to go. I can't let you go. There's five years of sweat. Think of the tank towns. The club fights. We took a lot of beatings. Kid, we starved together. But now we got it made. We're right on top. I'm not going to let you go. You can't stop me, Murph. Little John, I'm ready. Okay, open up.
to me! Murph got close to Saunders! Good job, Ferguson. Murph, you're a hero. <laughs> hey, Willie, how about how about throwing me that old right, huh? Come on. Hey, hey, you're gonna be all right, Kirby. Stay with Cleve, huh?